Hello everyone and welcome back to RPG World. Guys, before we start, uh, I want to thank to the publisher for the opportunity to, to play the game few days before the release, before the early access release. And uh, like I said, give me that opportunity to make this video for you to have an idea before to buy the game or not. So, let's get started. So, uh, right from the, from the beginning, I want to tell you that I don't really agree with the reviewers who say a few words in a review about the game and show some, some random clips from, uh, from the game. That's why I want to do something different. I will show you exactly how the game looks, how the mechanics are presented in the game with real gameplay. We will do that how short we can. So I want to show you most of the aspect of the game in a few minutes. Let's uh, enter in the game for that. Uh, so we start with uh, the graphics. So graphics is one of the least important aspect in in a in a game of this kind for me. Graphic is not is not that important in a in a pure RPG game. Of course, all of us want to see a nice graphic, uh, nice look of the game. But I don't think it's the most important thing in a RPG game. But that was said, the graphic in this game, it's amazing. Looks really, really, really good. I don't know exactly if uh, it's made in Unreal Engine 5 or uh, they developed the, their own engine, but looks great. Everything is handcrafted. Uh, you won't find that copy paste very often found in uh, modern games. You know what I mean? Uh, it's stable. I have most of the times more than 60 frames. So for example, now I have 75 and I'm, I'm in a town. Uh, no lag, decent animation. So it's okay from a graphical point of view. Uh, you can see very, very looks handcrafted with a lot of details. All, most of the times it is static. You know what I, I mean? The environment, it's... A little bit static you, you cannot jump you cannot go everywhere where i you want okay that's what's said about the graphic uh about the story regarding the story honestly i don't want to talk too much about this aspect because the game will be uh released in early access and i don't think it's right to give a verdict yet we will didn't show everything from the story. So this early access is basically, from what I understand, it's based around 25%, 20-25% from the whole game. So it's less than a quarter. So we cannot uh, say a verdict for the full story of the game. But uh, the story starts three years before the, the events from the first Gridfall. Uh, this time you play as a native of uh, Tirfradi on the on the na native Iceland, uh, uh, from where you you are taken prisoner and transported on the board of a, a ship to the main continent, the the one of the colonists. Uh, you end up uh, in the main continent as a prisoner, uh, where uh, you are held from some strange person you know to to escape from the prison from this point you you are uh, uh, you are swept around several locations looking for a way to get back home to your native uh, continent uh, but you know things are not that simple because uh you here you are also meet uh, author native like you you know you you are you start to enter on the political uh, games of the alliance between the factions etc etc and many authors uh, i leave it to you to discover uh, 
all these things for uh, for yourself. Anyway, the story seems interesting, above average, uh, not something to leave you, uh, you know, wow, what a super impressed, you know, it's decent, above average, like I say, but it's still early access. The gameplay. I say about the graphic is not the most important thing. The gameplay is one of the most important aspect in an RPG. Uh, right from the beginning, I want to tell you that I was informed that not all aspects of the gameplay are implemented yet. You can see the roadmap on uh, Steam or rather website, the roadmap for uh, the development of the game and you can see what wasn't implemented all uh, uh, crafting aspect not all companions uh, regions uh, not all skill tree uh, a lot of other things are missing from the game by the way the game is full voice acting have a full voice acting which is good is good uh, here at the gameplay, let me show you the, the skill tree. Here you have an inventory. Like you see, the, the UI is not completely finished. We don't have all the... I suppose they will change these icons, you know, for every item in the game. Yeah, we have ingredients, consumable ingredients, quest items, and goods. This Most of these are uh, can be sell for money to the merchant here we have the party you can have four companions with two in uh in the party here are the items that have equipped like a weapon helmet necklace cloak uh, gloves chest and pants you can click to any of the weapons and you can see here all details you can press the advanced display a lot of other details like health action points how many action points you have damage bonus from strikes from behind from strikes from above and the dodgery attributes strength agility perception will and runs and focus and talents these talents from what i saw until now only the main character get talents points not all the other characters you have survival, diplomacy, stealth, alchemy, and mechanics. All of them are important. I, I don't I don't know how they will manage. Or maybe, maybe the you, you can see the other characters don't have the talents tab here. Only the main character. Maybe they will add the talent tab to the other characters because you cannot you cannot get points to, to perform on all of them. You see? Six points. I'm, I'm level 15 now. And uh, I spent only two points here, two points here. <laughs> Nothing else. Okay. The equipment, like I said, you can click on any item and you can see all the items that you have on inventory. I, I like that small icon. You can see this item is equipped on another character. Okay. Uh, okay, the helmets, the globes with different stats, and you compare directly here. The UI is amazing. It's 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 good. Yeah, you can see what stats have every every piece of equipment, and the weapons. All the weapons you have: uh, normal, uh, green, blue, and uh, legendary. What I found until now, that's the the items that I found. Uh, the skills. Skill trace, you have a lot of skill trace and not all are implemented. And keep in mind, every companion have one specific tree only for that companion. This one have Nilan's path. This guy's name is Nilan. This guy have this guy have Ludwig's path specific only for him. Faust path specific only for her. With 
you have this is some kind of mage style stuff you cannot see the author uh skill trees only when you spend the points here you you can see this uh this the authors at the top and not all of them this one is not yet available so you can, we cannot we cannot know the end build of the character so that's why i say we cannot uh, give a, a full review for the game because it's not completed yet it's early access i think they, they want to follow baldur's gate 3 model uh from what i saw most of the character have some kind of healing uh ability uh you can see the blue dots here that are action points every character every skill require a specific number of action points like you see two action points uh these are some kind of passives one action point are some skills with uh, three action points you see yeah so every character have uh, this guy i ludic i'm using him i want to make him some kind of tank and my main is uh it's it's a mage i can say this bracelet mastery uh, because if you go on the attribute will tier radian bracelet this is a weapon so basically this give you the wheel give you bonus only to the bracelets and the ring the rings are this this girl who use rings and i focus with her on wheel as well for example this guy uh it's a wait it's an archer he's an archer so that's why i spend points in perception with him because um Perception uh, give bonuses to 200 range weapon traps and pistols. This guy it's a uh, use 200 sword or 100 impact weapon. So basically for axes, hammers, for the sword we have agility. We have other companions that using uh, swords. But if you can, if you spend points here on a different tree, they can use a different kind of weapons. So you are not restricted to to that uh, weapons. The attributes you have strength for 100 impact weapon and 200 melee weapons, and when you spend points, you get different bonuses. Agility, perception. You can put pals if you want and uh, to see more details about every attribute will endurance basically increase the health and uh, resistances and focus light armor medium armor uh, and also focus every two points in focus give you one action point so uh, the more and the more action points you have the more skills you can use in combat Keep that in mind and here you have some kind of statistics about every character okay that was about the this is the most important aspect of the game right the the skills here the ui you can see you have the physical armor magical armor and hp and these are the action points here up here if you if you are for example, if you are using uh, a potion or something, uh, will uh, you press space and you enter in combat mode. And uh, here I'm, I'm I'm in town now and I cannot use all the skills. But when you uh, drink a potion, will appear here. When when you press space again, basically he use the potion. You can right click to remove from here. I will show you the combat as well. Uh, for the moment we have six companions in the game. More companions will be added from what I I I saw. Each companion have a specific skill tree, one skill tree for that companion only, unique. Okay, skill tree. Uh, about I, I about uh, in combat it's a problem i saw some i found some bugs with with, with pet findings you know 
they get stuck, uh, they don't follow the path where you order the companion to go. Because in combat mode, for example, you can click any companion and you can put him to move here. Uh, these girls, I want her to move here. Yeah, and when you when you start, you see, they move. Uh, what else to show you here? Uh, the map, the map. This is the map uh, of the town where I am now. Uh, I don't know, I hope they will implement. Basically, you start the game in one region, you finish almost everything in that region. It's not open world, the, the open world that you imagine. Uh, you are you are stuck in that region. I think you need to follow the story to follow the main quest. Of course, you have some side quests that you need to complete. But when you finish the main story, basically you have a lot of cinematics, of course, and you are moved to another region. Then in that region again, you need to do the main quest, side quest, and you are moved to another region. I I don't know. Maybe I I didn't arrive in a point where you completely unlock the world to see a bigger map of the world and to travel from region to region you have fast travel yeah you have fast travel in the game so for example if i, I want to go here i will use fast travel and i'm teleported it's instantly the, the fast travel it's instant less than one second optimization is very very good i don't found the uh, visual bugs. I found bugs in, in combat. Uh, and let me show you the combat because okay let me teleport here oh uh, I think it's a combat here I want to show you live combat. Oh no. You press shift, you are running. Control. You have some kind of like a witcher sense where you uh, you can see highlight the looting things. You have resources because you have crafting. You have a workbench to craft potions, to craft uh, uh, traps, uh, different uh, items that you need, uh, uh, dynamites, etc, etc. You have a lot of crafting materials in the world that you can uh, loot. You have chests with loot, of course, hidden paths, hidden items, hidden locations. So it's, it's an RPG, it's in, in, in the real sense. You see here, mechanics. Pick lock, tier 3, 75%. Let's quick save because I don't want to fail. I failed. And after you failed, you cannot access again. So we load because I really want to, to do that. Inside it will be a combat and I want to show you the combat. I get, uh, I think I have 12 or 13 hours in, in the game and I got three crashes until now. Hey, why? Wait, 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 wait. This one. Ah. The game quick save after you fail a pick lock. Interesting. So yeah, like I said, I found, I get uh, three crashes. Most of the times, I think two of them was uh, when I uh, leave a big area to move to another area during the cutscene. I get a completely crashes. You can see the whole playthrough that I, I played until now on the YouTube. I will upload episodes with the whole playthrough. Okay, just level up, guys. Just level up. When you level up, you get the party, your companions, skills. Uh, some of these skills you can improve one more time. You see here, improvement. Basically, you unlock one time. 
the skill and then when you spend one more points you'll get this improvement okay like here if i if i spend a point here i have one available point if i spend a point here i will get this bonus also restore hit points to the caster of reinforcement honestly man i don't want to spend points here because this guy i want to make him a pure mage and the problem is i i don't know how to unlock this it's not available yet in this content keep in mind guys will be a completely wipe when they will release the game in one 1.0 so all the progress will be lost okay let's go inside here to show you some uh, combat witcher sense <laughs> here is a restricted area Okay, we're going combat mode. I don't want to kill these guys, but uh, I will kill them now only to show you the combat. aren't allowed in this part of the port. Move along. Oh. That's the first time when I see Brian. We'll leave you to your duties. Good boy. Stop. I cannot. You've I cannot show you the combat, guys. Job here. Let me load another uh, save to show you the combat. This is another uh, region, by the way. We will see another region. I know guys, it's not a classic review that we so see from other content creator, but I will wa I want to show you exactly in the game. You have idea about the loading, about you can see with your eyes everything in the game. It's not from what the paid guys are seeing. Oh, here you have a chest with the loot. Just after a combat. Uh, I hope we have another combat. I don't remember. Oh, we have traps. Which you can... Fail, of course. Because I really sucks. I think down here we have a battle. I know here it's one quest I want to I don't want to spoil you. Okay, we have barrels that we can explode. Oh man, I have a very low HP on him. Heal yourself.
Flee and wrench at Okavi. No. Your arm are no longer protects you. Paul. I need healing. Kill my main. Uh, so yeah, that's the combat, guys. I don't have action points to use my main healing. You need to do basic attacks to get more action points. Archer is double shot. Okay, knock down. Without my deflection, this could end badly for me. Kill that motherfucker. Not we won't last much longer. Okay, kill him. Yeah, it's it's a little bit janky, especially at the beginning, but after you Of course you can use potions in, in combat as well, right? You can drink a potion to to heal, but I don't think I use five potions from the beginning. By the way, have difficulties, have uh, like uh, story, easy, normal and uh, hard. I'm on normal now. I play this playthrough on normal, but I think we can manage uh, on, a, on a hard for sure. Yeah, so you have a idea about, uh, about what the game have to offer now. Uh, I don't know what else to, to tell you guys. I will give the game a solid 7 out of 10. In my opinion, of course, it's not perfect. Uh, a lot of things that can be improved. Like I said, the freedom of exploration. You see this map? You, get, you arrive somewhere here, I think. No, you arrive here. Then, basically, you need to follow this path. You need to find something here. Then you need to go here. It's it's semi-open world. It's like in a God of War, to give you an example. It's a bit linear. You know, you, you cannot go wherever you want from the beginning. And this is one map. I wonder if I miss something here. For example, I don't know what is here and here. And uh, at one point, when you are what, at one point in the in the map in the in the game, you free you, you leave completely this area. I don't know if you can come back to this area later in the game. Have no idea about that. 
we will see. I hope you can. I hope you can. Yeah, combat, like I said, a little bit junky, but it's okay. After you spend some time, so you you learn some a lot of other things, how working the skills, the mechanics, and uh, it's okay. It's not wow. Honestly, I enjoy. A lot of people will complain about this combat with pals. It's not the action combat that was in, in, in the in the first game. Looks like more a turn base. It's not a turn base, but looks like turn base combat. A lot more like uh, Baldur's Gate 3 than an action combat. Me one, I enjoy this kind of combat. Anyway. Like I said, a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, think will be better at the final release when the game will be complete. Uh, I don't know about the music, the music is great. Uh, still early access and I want to see the full game. We will we'll drop another review when we play the whole game. And of course, need more polish. Polish in combat, like I say, they, they get stuck in the path if you order one uh, companion to move in somewhere else and have another companion in front of him, he, he don't he don't go, you know. Yeah, a lot of other things can be improved, but for an early access game is very, very solid. Thank you very much guys for watching. Let me know in the comment below what you think about about the game you plan to to play the game you plan to buy the game any discussion is really appreciated subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content for more videos that we have on youtube remember to check the channel as well for the full playthrough for the early access content we did almost everything from the beginning to the end of the content that is in early access you can find i will upload almost every single day one episode from this uh, later. Thanks again and see you next time. Bye!